Today on The Morning Show, millionaire businessman Robert Herjavec talks about his new book, The Will to Win. Good morning, everybody. Robert Herjavec is a businessman, investor, and star of Shark Tank. In his new book, The Will to Win, he shares anecdotes from his own life and from the lives of celebrity friends, including Oprah, George St. Pierre, and Celine Dion. And Robert joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks Good morning. for having me. So this is the follow-up to your book, Driven. It is. And the idea is still to just keep pushing to be your best. Yeah, I, th I think the idea is if you have a little bit of success, how do you keep that going? I've been very fortunate to meet a lot of very successful people, and I'm a real student of success and learning and um, put a lot of thoughts into the book about what makes people keep going. Mm -hmm. Seems to be a fine line, though, Robert, between the drive and the desire and the will to succeed and not knowing that this idea might be a loser. How do you determine that? Yeah, I think, I think the fine line is bordered by fear. I think we all have a desire to, to do better every day. I don't think any human being wakes up and says, I want my life to suck. So I, I think we all woke up today and want to do better for our family and for ourselves, but we have these grand ideas and we're afraid to fail. And the reality is you're going to fail way more in life than you're going to win. You just got to let your winnings be good ones and big ones. But you just got to keep going. You know, there's nothing wrong with failing. We had this chat recently, should you pursue your passion or should you pursue the money? And I think when you're Absolutely an entrepreneur... Absolutely your passion. How, your passion, but how much should you think about making your business profitable? Well, it's, it's everything. A profit to a business is like breathing to a human being. If your business isn't making money, it's dying. So I, business is really hard. I mean... Business is not being on TV talking about your book. Business is 23 and a half hours a day of non-sexy, boring work that needs to be done. So if you don't love it, you're going to fail. Mm -hmm. Robert, I know a lot of people look at you when they meet you, they just think dollar signs and millions and millions of dollars. But oh, you I, wrote I, this. I used to think they think, what a good looking guy. But okay, <laughs> I'll take the dollar sign. Very signs. nice jacket I'll take as well. <laughs> that too, they think of that too. But you know, I'm thinking about this as book As long as that my wife wrote, thinks good looking guy, I'm Then okay. that's what counts, right? Yeah, that's right. But yeah. you wrote the book, The Will to Win. How do you go from beyond the, you know, from beyond the dollar signs that a lot of people see, they see Shark Tank, they see the Dragon's Den. And how do you, you know, message about working hard? Because it's not just about all this money. That comes with the hard work. Yeah, you know, I, I take absolutely no shame in my success. And, you know, I'm a big car guy, and I'm very proud of what I've achieved, and uh, I'm not embarrassed by it, but I've never done it to make money. You know, my, my parents came here, and we had nothing, and they worked really hard. And that's why this is such a great country is you can, if you're not successful, there's only one person to blame. It's the person you see in the mirror every single day. And I did it, but I'm no different than anybody else someone wants to do it, they can. Right. Uh, let's talk about some of the anecdotes from the book. What did you learn from Oprah? Uh, always sign your own checks. I know it sounds incredible, and she told me that, and I'm like, oh, come on, you're just saying that. You say that to reporters, but it's not true. And she said, absolutely. Every check above $10,000, she signs. There's different levels. When her company was smaller, it was every check above 500. Cash is the lifeblood of your business. You got to know where it's going. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it. Keeping the ownership of it, you know, like really still, like you're saying, it's, it's 24 hours a day of hard work, and that's one of them. And, but you can also learn from your mistakes, as David Foster did. Yeah, he sure did. I mean, he's made a lot of, uh, I mean, I think he's been married six times and, uh, you know. I wasn't the, thinking about that part, but sure. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, as he always says, people always assume that he wrote Titanic with Celine Dion, and it's the one that he passed passed on. He didn't think it would be a big hit. Yeah, my heart will go on. My heart will go on. Yeah. And uh, he just loves music. I mean, if you spend five minutes with that guy, you know he loves music. And you'll be successful if you keep going at it. But he, so she brought that song to him and he turned it down. Is I that know. right? That's true. Isn't that amazing? And what's great about him, he's so frank and honest with it. You know, Les, the funny thing is the really successful people I've met have absolutely no problem admitting when they've done something wrong. Mm -hmm. Can you think of a deal that you've passed up where you think, oh, could have made a lot of money on that or could have expanded my business? Oh my gosh, you know, I have no regrets. I have no rear view mirror. I mean, I race cars for fun and uh, I don't use the rear view mirror very much. I think mm -hmm. uh, you gotta keep looking forward. 
right? I think if you do that, you're going to you're going to kill yourself. 25 years ago, which shark would have helped you the best, including yourself, uh, or which dragon? Which would have which person would have you know, I hate, you. I, I hate to admit it, because he's probably watching, but Kevin. Really? Kevin O'Leary. Really? I mean, I think my problem when I was 25 is I was too nice. That's I'm Deep down, I'm a pretty nice guy, mm -hmm. and I tended to believe. When somebody told me something, I believed them. I didn't have a filter to think that people would take advantage of me. Interesting. And a guy like Kevin would have uh, given me some really tough love. There you go. Nice compliment to him. Hope he heard that. Uh, the book is called The Will to Win, Leading, Competing, Succeeding. Robert Herjkovic, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me, guys. Pleasure to meet you.